Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on my entryway. I'm going to be cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and beautifying this space. We have made this space the dumping ground for all of our junk when we come in the door. It's time to take all of this clutter out, clean the space, and make it beautiful for spring. Keeping your entryway neat, and organized as well as beautiful will not only give that super first impression, but it will also make you super happy every time you step into your home. I have an actual marked area for an entryway. Some people have huge, beautiful entryways. You don't have to have all of that in order to give that little pop and that signature of what your home is about. This metal piece is beautiful, but it's just too bulky. So I'm going to replace it with some DIY projects and use this in another room. This umbrella stand will be the focus of this video. With spring around the corner, this is a great time to not only clean, but also begin a deep clutter in my home. Before you begin a project like this, make sure to completely clear and clean the area. If your entryway gets as junked up as mine does, comment below and let me know how you tackle your mess. After I dust, vacuum, and mop, I'll move on to my umbrella stand project. First, I will measure the height and width of the area I will cover. I'm using project foam board from Dollar Tree and a sharp blade to cut the board. I love having an umbrella stand at the entryway, but this one tends to look messy because you can see through it and things fall through the openings easily. I will apply E6000 glue to secure the board. Now that these two sides have dried with the glue, I'm going to flip them over and apply the glue so I can put the remaining two panels on the other sides. This time, I'm applying the glue on not only on the leg of the umbrella stand, but I'm also applying the glue to the edge of the foam board. I cut two of the pieces slightly larger, about half inch longer. I allowed a little bit more so this piece would overlap and fit the edges of the foam board. And this does seem to take several hours to dry, so I'm going to set this over on its side. I want to give the handle and feet a rustic look, so I'll apply Waverly chalk paint in truffle with a foam brush. I applied two coats.
Now with Waverly Chalk Paint in Mineral, I lightly brush on over the detailed areas to create a distressed look. This burlap fabric from Hobby Lobby will give a great farmhouse touch. Hot glue will keep the fabric in place, but be careful because burlap fabric is so loosely woven that you can burn your fingers. I glue each side, then pull tightly to smooth out the fabric. I simply cut the fabric after I've gone all the way around. I will add ribbon and jute cord to seal all these raw edges. First I'll take this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and hot glue it to create a bottom border. I'll do the same at the top. Now I'll take some jute cord and hot glue it to each corner. These animal stencils are from Hobby Lobby, and I'll choose one for each side of my project. Waverly Chalk Paint in ink will be stenciled with a cosmetic makeup sponge. The poor goat was left out. Please like and subscribe to see more of this entryway makeover. And don't forget that notification bell for future videos. Now I can add this farmhouse umbrella stand to my entryway decor. Thanks for watching and have a great day.